heroes and heroines of all ages. When the world tells you to get a life, you're always welcome at the 1UP Block. My name is Dan the Man, your host, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Splatoon. When we last left off, we took down two levels. I had to go back to a level because I missed a scroll. Oops, that was my fault. But now we're going to be moving on to the third level, which I'm going to read the title of before we actually go into, you know, so we can get the name out of the way. Uh, Rise of the Octo Octocopters, <laughs> Leap to Victory. All right, let's do this, shall we? Oh boy, I'm, I just, uh, I hate, I hate hating my audio, it's not fun. All right, we. I have to remember where, I think someone just texted me. Um, I need to remember where the, the secret scrolls are in this game, because if I don't remember where they are, this is going to be kind of a pain in the butt. Not for me, but for you guys, you don't want to watch that. If I have to find any of the secret scrolls, I'll just go find them off screen and show you where they are. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem, though, because I think all of them are relatively easy to locate. Um, oh, shit. Whoop. But, but the, the thing that's going to make it a pain in the butt for me is that I'm talking and I'm trying to have a conversation with you guys while I'm trying to play the game and look for stuff. So, you know, I'm going to have to both worry about that and... Oh, yeah. So, this is the only time you see these things in the entire game. You don't see them in single player. These little zip lines where you turn into your squid form, you're like... Bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> and they form like little bridges and stuff, so that's pretty cool. I do not remember where the secret scroll is in this level in particular, but, you know, whatever. We'll find it together. We'll do it. We're gonna make it out alive. And what I did the first time playing the game when I was doing it on stream. Oh, here's a, here's a special weapon. It looks like the Ink Zooka. Yep, yep, yep. And I'm going to use it here just to show off what it does. You get to shoot this big wave of uh, ink and stuff. And it goes through walls, kind of. So that's pretty cool. But you only have a limited time with it. And then whenever the time limit goes out, you're gone. It's no more. You can no longer use your weapon. But that's okay. That doesn't matter. It's only useful for for, ah, for certain situations. Anywho, uh, I think that's the secret scroll. So, hey, we found the secret scroll in this level. Fan freaking tastic. Die and die. All the secret scrolls are in boxes. So, Whoop. yep. Someone definitely texted me, and I think I have to hop across. No, wait, wait, wait. Ink the side, and then. Huh. Oh yeah, baby. Secret scroll get. Yeah. Now I don't have to worry about it anymore. Who wants some, baby? Oh, um... Mm -mm. Peekaboo, here comes my foot. <laughs> I am squid something. I don't know. I didn't have a good enough joke for that. These guys are pretty pathetic anyway, so I don't really have to worry about taking too much damage. What I do have to worry about is collecting enough experience to level up. Because leveling up is so nice. Oh, cool. We get our ink back, too, when we're in that. That's awesome. Basically, anytime you're inside of anything with your ink, you get the, uh... You get to refill your ink canister, which is fun. Which is fantastic. And this guy's a butthole. This guy, I think, throws grenades, maybe? Let's see if I can ink some stuff. I'm low on ink. Let's see if I can... Do, I could probably distract him. Yeah. Gotcha, bitch. There's another ink zooka. I'm gonna hold on to this one. I'm gonna hold on to this one so I can sell it at the... Or not sell it at the end, but, uh... Get the extra points. The experience. Huh. And there's the zap fish. Another level in the bag. Check us out. We are just storming through. Well, not really storming through, but you know what I mean. We're making good time. It's only been four minutes. Yeah. All right, what does this girl say? This seems to be an Octarian assault vehicle, but it doesn't appear to have an engine. The big question then, how does it move? It's frighteningly clear that the source of the Octarian's power lies outside the realm of established science. Well, that's good. That's, that's fantastic. We love it when things are, you know, outside the realm of science. Because that's what everybody loves, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's all the levels here. So now we just have to deal with the boss fight. So here's our first boss fight. Whoop. 
Oh, I didn't read it. Fuck. Whoops. <laughs> oh boy. Already, already starting off good. Boop. To the boss fight. Okay. Hello. Hello, Zapfish. Please don't go in there. Well, shit. Did you see the X on him? I think this is Nintendo's way of saying kill Xbox. Wink, wink. No, it's not. I'm, I'm kidding. I am kidding. All right, he's going to do a little that. And you just squirt the side of him and go. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. There we go. And ta-da. That's how you beat this boss. So the boss fights are kind of cool. Uh... The way you fight them is always pretty neato, and each of them has their own distinct way of defeating them, you know? Just gonna make my trail of ink for when he slams down. Okay, just make sure, go. Go, 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 go. Kaboom! I think each of them takes three shots. I fell off somehow. I don't know how that happened, but whatever. Who cares? I don't care. Do you care? Oh, poop. He might care. He might care a little bit. Oh, yeah, boo-hoo to yourself. Okay, I'm just going to make sure I have my little exit over there. Let him slam down, and... Go, 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 go. Okay. And Viola, there goes the first boss. He's down and out, I think. Pretty sure he's dead. Yep, he is most definitely dead. Goodbye, bitch. Yay! And then we get free experience. I, th I think I can just shoot all of this. I don't want to shoot the zapfish yet, though. Okay, touch that, touch that. Get the free scroll and pop. Zap, 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 fish. Got, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Avast, they have the great Octo weapons on their side. At any rate, good work, Agent 3. Keep it up. It's a long road to the great zapfish. There's a cord in front of my TV. I don't know why that's there, actually. It's probably going to start bothering me now, but... Uh, yeah, this is the anti-octopus weapon blueprints. So, what this is, is you can take these to the shop in town, and it'll actually make you special weapons. Uh, so that's another reason why you want to do single players, because you unlock a bunch of cool weapons. So that's fantastic. That's always a bundle of fun, as I say. Or as anyone says, I guess. And now we're moving on to the next one. So, boop. And let's go. The next area. Also, this place is called, uh... I think it's called Octopus Range or something. I forget what the map is called. But it's called Octopus, uh... Cavern? Or not cavern. Whatever you call, like, a little side of the mountain thing. It's called Octopus something. Because of... I don't know if we can actually see it from here. Can we? Maybe not. I'll show you guys later. I'll, I'll make sure to show you later. But now, what we have to do is find the rest of the levels. And I think there's five? No, there's six. There's six levels I need to unlock. So that's one. And they're all usually on the path of some sort. Which is, you know, kind of annoying. There's also no map or anything. Oh, actually, there is a map on the... Okay, can't do that. There's a map on my control pad, but it doesn't really help, I guess, if that makes sense. It's just a general map. It's not a, oh, here's like every detail map. Okay, swim. There's another one, so that's one, two, three. Um, I think the other ones are on the other side. So let's go. Use our ink to travel faster, young master. It is a disaster, Skywalker over after. Whoop. All right, that's four, five, and get up there. I guess I didn't have to unlock all the levels at once, but there's six. Okay, so which one are we going to? We need to go to five, I think. That's it. Floating sponge garden, soak it up. Let's do it. I think we probably have enough time to do one more. And this will be the one more. 
maybe. Okay. Uh, do I remember where the thing is in this one? That's the question on everybody's mind. So here we have the game mechanic of shooting these sponges, and they retain your ink, but if something that doesn't have your ink actually touches the the sponges and blows up... Uh... Oh, they're stuck. Okay. Well, if something that has... If the Octarians squ shoot their ink on this, like, watch. If he shoots his ink on it, it shrinks. And that's basically what what's going to go down there. So, you know, be careful. Well, uh, there we go. You douche. Who do you think you are? Poppy bros, poppy bros, poppy bros. Who you think you are? Don't shoot me. No. Okay. I'm pretty sure usually the scroll has something to do with the gimmick of the level. So I'm going to assume we need to do something with a sponge to reach the scroll. Hopefully. If not, I'm going to have a bad time looking for it, which would suck weens. Nobody wants to see that. Hello. Come on. Come on, come on. Because we're having a ball. We're just making some calls to strangers. Right. Shoot all the things. Oh shit. I can't I can't shoot them. There we go. Okay, and that's that. We did it. Hooray. Okay, this is the one where I need them to shoot the ink. These guys won't do anything, but this is where the secret scroll is. I knew I knew where it was. What you have to do is you come up here and have them shoot at you. Or not. Right here, guys. Come on. And they shrink it, and then you fall through the grate, and booyah! Secret scroll. Yoink! Now I can... This is where I get to just beat the level and not have to worry about the secret scrolls. Hooray! Uh-oh. You douche. Alright. Shoot up. Huh! I love their little jump animation. It's so adorable. This whole game is just like really adorable. It's nice. It's nice. Everything is nice. Huh. Okay. These guys are going to shoot ink at me, I think. And if they shoot ink at me, they're going to make my thing shrink. And that's no bueno. But check this out. Ha ha ha, bitch. Okay, I think we're good. Collect all the things. Whoop. And now comes the fun part. Kablam. Kabloom. Kabling. Kabling. And then shooting these guys is not going to be fun because they move around and... Okay. I could have popped him, but... Fuck it. We're just going to ink our way over there. Whoop. Hey. Hey. That's what I thought, bitch. You need to be inked. Whoop. Bow, 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 bow. We did it! We might be able to get one more out of the way. Might as well, I guess, right? It takes a while for these things to get, uh... For me to render these, but I do it at night anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, the terrifying biology of an inkling. Strength can leap up to five feet. Brain simple and predatory. Bones none. Eyes can spot prey from a hundred yards away. Defense, high pressure, high capacity ink sacks. So yeah, there you go. That's the uh, anatomy of an ink child, or a uh, squid child, I guess is what you would call it. But I think we have time for one more. Hold on. If I touch on my gamepad, you can actually hop over to levels. Oh wait, we're supposed to do level four. So we have to do this one. Gusher Gauntlet, take on the skies. Let's go. If you tap on, if you unlock the level already on your uh, in the overworld, you can tap it on the gamepad to get to it faster, which is really cool. Okay, this level is going to teach us about these things, which is the little geysers. And basically, they just shoot you upwards. Which is, you know, nice. Whoop! Tra la 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 la. Oh, hi. Uh. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. Okay. Now comes the fun part of remembering where the ink. Uh, not the ink is. Where the, uh where the secret scroll is. Okay, these guys are pretty similar to the boss, but whenever they fall on their face, you just hit them on the butt, and they die. 
nothing, nothing too serious. These guys are gonna fall and kaboom. Okay. Huh. And then I think if I shoot all these things, it'll kill them immediately. So, haha, sucks to be you, wiener. And there we go. But first, check around. Make sure I'm not missing anything. I don't think I am. So that's good. Whoop. You can also jump on these, but make sure you land back on the pole, or the pipe, I guess. Because if you don't land on the pipe, you're not going to make it, and you're going to die. And that's never fun. I think we're going to use these as cover. Or I think it wants me to use these as cover, but get out of my way. There we go. Check around, make sure there's nothing I'm missing, and it does not appear to be anything missing, so... Uh, yep. Whoop. Oh, yeah, 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 I think the scroll's over here. Go to the right, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, that should be the scroll, right? That's not the scroll. Hmm. Maybe the scroll is over there? Possibly? I don't know. Let's go check. What are we sitting around here for? Let's go check. Whoop. Hello, ding dong. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Scroll? Yep. There's a scroll. Cool beans. Now you don't have to worry about shit anymore. We can just get through the level at a, a moderate... Pa oh, well, we're at the end of the level. Never mind. Whoop. <laughs> this is... This is going to go by really fast. The, the, these levels do not take very long at all. And... <laughs> Like I said, it's, it's it's just a quick little uh, single-player mode to teach you how to play the game. Yay! Uh, this scroll was found in deep rock layers. Its age estimated at approximately 2,000 years. It details the ancient turf wars of the time. Uh, of the time. It seems the basic 4 versus 4 battle format has already been established at this stage. So if you look at the scroll, it looks... <laughs> Looks really Egyptian, but it has like the, the 4v4 with the cat in the middle and the, the ink uh tallying from it, it if you play the game before it you're probably laughing your ass off at this scroll which i am it's a, it this, this is adorable this whole game is just fantastic but that's all the time we have for this episode a hero's work is never done join me again next time as we continue to tackle splatoon later days everybody